I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No. Uh, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not used to you using any other wheeze. Believe it or not, I've had several wheeze. Oh, no, no, that's fine. I won't touch that sentence. Huh. Oh. Am I meant to keep going? This is nice. Used to be a lot more trees up around here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. Psh, psh, can't be. Nah, that can't be right. Oh, you're lying to me. Everything that's ever happened has only happened since the day I was born. Nothing happened before that. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. Oh, uh, this is nice. This also reminds me of back home. Holy heck, there's just too much. So what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she's just gone. Like disappeared. The mysteries deepen. Is this the same? Was she disappeared by the same bloody nightmare we saw on Harvest? And hey, wait a second. I'm in front of you right now, Mom. Don't creep me out like that. What happened? Oh. Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep. No one could see it because of the grass. Could have warned me before you started letting me wander out into the middle of a field. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. That is pretty common. That is pretty common around the countryside where mines are. It still happens quite often back home here and now and again. Big sinkholes open up here and there. Just... Gone. So, wait, why are we here? Are you trying to disappear me? Is this part of your master plan to reduce reduce your budget and the, the household bills? What, you not up for a little risk taking? Well, I mean, I would have been if you'd given me a little bit of advance notice. Yeah, cool, of course I am. Ah! What's wrong? I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm. How about that? Uh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. What is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny! Uh, how long does a person have to be dead for jokes about them to be taste... Not totally tasteless. I was going to say tasteful, but I don't think they're ever tasteful. But not entirely tasteless. There's probably a cut-off amount of time, isn't there? But slower. We used to climb up there. Want to try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. Yeah, it's the donuts that'll get you. And not much climbing. I'll do it. I think I can see the bricks I can climb up on. Yeah. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. 
Uh, Possum Springs, Moss in the Valley. The Highway. Why would I want to highlight the Highway? Possum Springs, Moss in the Valley. That's a lot nicer. What does it look like? Like someone dumped out some blocks. A quilt? Oh, that's a kind of nice way of describing it. Well, it's a cosy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age. Where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks. And I'd start running. But there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell me what uh, feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. I can't even figure out what mine means, so I don't know what qualifies me to explain other people's to them. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that's yeah. I figured that was the plan. But other than that devious evil genius plan, what else? Well, that didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey, wait, you're just going to abandon me? So she walked me out in the middle of a field where someone fell in the sinkhole and died. Makes me climb up on a big bloody chimney that may have been also dangerous. Um, and then buggers off and leaves me. Fantastic. Thanks, Mom. Oh, uh, thanks for popping in again, dear Lord. Um, you have yourself a good one, too. Uh, hope to catch you again sometime, whether it's night in the woods or something else. You have yourself a good chill one. I'm going to have myself a nice chill one after I'm done here today. Uh, yeah, ditched. Abandoned. Great. Hmm. Oh gosh. I assume that's meant to be Jenny's skeleton under the, under the, <laughs> under the ground. <laughs> Fabulous. Love it. Alright, um... So she said the pasta wasn't there. I'm going to look anyway in case the pasta returned. I doubt it. I haven't seen much of the pasta actually for the last... Like not in the church. Not since the first time we talked to her in the church. Okay, cool. Can we talk to our mum anymore or is that it? Are we done with mum, mum talk for the day? Also, hard to tell she was actually joking about the sinkhole. Oh yeah, we're done. Okay. Into the town we go then. Man, this has been a long, like, long single day in the game. It's been like more than an hour to do one day. Oh, and a dream. Yeah, I forgot about the dream sequence. Dream nightmare. Well, one of the two. I need to do a little tiny bit of adjusting my camera here because I feel like I'm a little bit off kilter. Oops, sorry. I need to move this. Whoa, what was that? How did that happen? Wait a minute. Oh, my camera's gone all skew whiff. Look at this. What's going on? That was mean. Stupid camera. Ah, oh, whatever. There. There, completely fine, professional. Nobody, nobody will suspect a thing. You didn't see anything. Oh, more random discussions going on there. Cool, cool. Um, I don't want to see B yet because I'm assuming that's going to kickstart the trip to the uh, 
the trip to the uh, cemetery. I assume. Oh, wait, hang on. I can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. Uh, um, got a horn now, don't need the base anymore. Angus. Angus. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Not yet, I want B first. B first. So that must be it then, every single person you talk to, it's just to trigger whichever place we're going, meant to be going. Okay. That's fine. Wait, hang on a second. Oh, Greg must be at home. This is where they live, isn't it? Isn't this their apartment building? Yes. That means Greg mustn't be at work? That's a strange turn of events. Greg's always at work. Well, I mean, when he's not skipping. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I got to tell you everything? No, no. Just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Fellas can't be getting their emotions out. Oh, man. All right, well. Hope you make up. Let's go watch the smelters. Oh, Greg's here. Greg's here? Then why the hell can I go into their apartment building? Interesting. Oh, hi. Do I know you? No. Oh. I knew Greg's cousin. You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin, Jen. Like, the other cousin? The dull cousin? The boring one? I kind of just said that, didn't I, in a roundabout way? No. Well, who are you then? Why are you here? Are you from Possum Springs? If you're not, then what are you doing in Possum Springs? This is my town. I live here. I, I, I know everyone that lives here. There's, no one's allowed to be here that I don't know. I'm trying to find your city council. Town council? We're a town. Clearly not big enough to be a city. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoing an infrastructure municipal services management program. Well, that sounds like a real snooze fest. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff? Oh, yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know. Lots of places are just scared of new things. Yes, yes, we all fear change here. Just want to keep things like they are forever. Falling apart. It's frustrating. You are really into this, huh? And also, they do have a point. They've got a huge point, and it's another point that reflects back on my own bloody hometown. There's someone doing lots of, like, um... Doing lots of, like, uh... Like, beautification of, like, um, the town's marketplace... Um, bringing loads of tour, tour, tourism in with like um, like big events and stuff like that. And there's loads of people in the town just bloody bitching and moaning about it. I'm like, bloody hell, they've complained for so long that the town needs... We need to get people in and because loads of shops are closing, which is standard at the moment, I guess. But it's been happening for years. Someone comes in, wants to boost the place up and then everyone's like, no, oh, no, grumble, grumble. It's seriously, can't, you can't win. doesn't matter what you do. There's just no winning with the, with some people. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> another random rant. Notch up another one for me. Me rant list. I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all going to be robots anyway, so... Jeez. Yeah, huh? Oh, I got it. Your Donna's cousin. Yeah. She used to babysit me. Oh, wow. Are you the kid that killed a bird with her mace? No, that was another small black cat called Mare. It was an accident. And I was like nine. <laughs> I 
I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Oh, mace is in. For some reason in my mind, I had like an actual flipping mace, the, like the, the weapon, not mace, like spray kind of mace. <laughs> That's where my brain went. My brain. Well, you were nine. It died like instantly. Just, ah, oof. dead. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Good luck with your thing. Try not to kill anything. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's bloody twice. Twice I've guessed a bloody line in this game tonight. It's ridiculous. I mean, that one was maybe easier to guess, let's be honest. It's a standard response when someone says, try not to do whatever, whatever. Oh, man. Is Germ kicking around? We've spent so long doing the other things in this day than I am. Germ! Hey! Hey! What? Wanna hang out? Well, I've got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. If I hang out with Germ, what are we gonna do? Because I said no to him before, but I thought it would like take up the rest of my day. But I think the only things that will take up the rest of the day is things that relate specifically to the story. Go on then. Hop on my bike. Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could like run behind. Okay, fine. A croggy it is. That's what we call riding on the back of someone's bike back home. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Sorry you fell off. It's cool. I feel so alive. I always wanted to fall off the back of someone's bike. Scripts are cool like that. I hit my head pretty hard. I skin my elbow. Oh, that's a bad place to do. Oh, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be tender. I can like ride you to the hospital. For this serious wound. Put the siren on. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Okay, don't then. Don't even get a siren. So what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Uh, sure, I guess. Seems harmless enough. Really? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Bye. Oh my god, Germ! Oh jeez, dude. Hey! What the hell, man? Jump! It's fine! Ah, super panic moment there. Oh, for real? Wait. Really? Wait. But there's no option to... Oh. Wait. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh. Dude, you scared me to death. Why? You jump off big stuff all the time. Yeah, but I'm like a cat. I'm designed for this stuff. I'm, I'm built for it. I'm bred for it, you know? Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat ground. It's not like I can just go jumping off cliffs or whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing here? Apart from, you know, having <laughs> near death experiences. I come here a lot. I want to show you something. You have a sewer pipe? I mean, not exclusively. Yeah, Germ seems like the kind of guy who hangs around around all kinds of places. Sewer pipes, maybe drains, dumpsters. You know, all the all the all the hot happening places. I saw like ten rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll give you that one, Germ. He's living to his name though, isn't he? Germ hanging out in germy places. Okay, cool. Let's go in the sewer pipe with Germ. We're having a real weird day today, aren't we? Ooh. Okay, so... 
I started coming down here a few months ago to, like, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh, hey, Ribbies. Ah! Ribbies is my sewer friend. Its name is Ribbies. I mean, I hope that's a joke name. His name is Ribbies. His name is Ribbies. I found him when they pulled that body out of here after that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I bought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. Possums will eat that kind of stuff, I guess. And I wanted the other pothum. Pothum? Don't know, don't know why I decided to develop a lisp there suddenly. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him. So I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever, and also you have to tell me if it worked or not. He's so rad. Hey, Ribbies! Speak! Spork. Oh my god. He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, Ribbies? I love him. I want to pet him, but I'm afraid he would actually give me Ribbies. Or something. A skin rash. You got any pets? Not really. We got a bird. I can't forget the bird. You should get one. My dad has a bird. That's a garbage pet. I'm not going to argue. No offence to bird owners. I couldn't deal with having a bird. It's one of those pets where it's like I appreciate other people's. If I go and visit someone and they've got a bird, I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But as soon as I leave the house, I'm like, I'm glad I'm not going to a house that has a bird in it. Right? Tell me about it. So there's like weird stuff on the walls in here. Ancient cave paintings? I don't think so. One of them looks like a factory. Some of them look like kind of maths equations. Some are just like random graffiti. Not new at least. What do you think it means? Uh, uh, if you sleep here, you might drown. Yeah. True, true. That's sad. Yeah, but it's sad enough that, like, it gets too weird to be sad. I guess. Just, like, sucks people as sleeping in here. Not like we don't got vacant buildings. It's dumb. There's, like, all kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm, like, the only person to really map the... Oh. Hey, Ribbies, what you got there? Oh my god, did he play fetch? Is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Oh god, my god, this possum just unwrapped a bloody chocolate bar. Never mind rule the bloody ravine. The guy's gonna rule the whole town. Holy effing crap. He is the best. You should take him home. No way, he'd pee all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. It's true, I guess. You can take the possum out of the sewers, but you can't take the sewer out of the possum. Oh, yeah. Ribbies is wild. Let him be wild. <laughs> Look, he's eating it. Well, that was a nice little diversion. See ya. Germ, you're pretty cool. I mean, I had a, I had a hunch that he was pretty cool. Yeah, that's, um, that was something else. That was something else, I've got to say. Boingy, boingy. How did he get over this thing? I can't jump that. No way he could have. There's no hole. How did he do it? I mean, I guess he could really be a ghost. I think he's a ghost. Just got to keep telling ourselves that. Will that fact into existence? Uh, what's out there? And did they really take somebody? Because like my aunt said, there was no missing persons reports. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. The whole situation makes me... 
I really do need to move all this. I'm sure the stuff on my desk keeps bloody migrating somehow. I don't know how. Okay, let's go and see B. And hit up the cemetery. Still got time to do that. Why can we go into Greg's apartment building? That still makes me very incurious. Why can we do that? Party barn. Here we go, the old pickaxe. Hey, B. Preempted that sentence, although that was a bit more of a predictable one. Hey, May. I think I'm going to burn this place down. Oh, cool. Can I help? <laughs> cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. But what if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So work's not going well. That's what I gleaned from that conversation. I'm just going to assume that you're not suddenly, randomly, sporadically into arson. Uh... Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. But you asked me to, so now I'm confused. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Yes. Actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's do this thing. Ooh, yay. Ooh. I already love it. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because he's not here year round. Ooh. Walking in reverence in the graveyard, no jumping around in here. Oh, we can jump. We just can't run. Uh. Is that janitor guy up there? Oh, it's a statue. Oh my god, it scared the bloody hell out of me. Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. Adrenaline and all that kind of stuff. And I've got someone to hold my hand, so it's fine. So we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. I mean, did, 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 you, did you have any other plan? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Can we... Oh. No any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez, no, not that kind of scary. Not like real life scary. I mean like... Spoopy paranormal scary. I mean, like a skeleton or something. Yeah, right? Oh, right. Uh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. A spook off. Yes. Let's do this. I just saw a red glowy thing. Did you see that? Was that just a firefly? There was definitely something. I say something. And you make it spookier. All right. How about this? Skeleton your hallway at night or a skeleton outside your window? Oh, outside the window would be worse for some reason. I mean, in the house would be terrible, but outside your window, it's that kind of creeping, creeping terror outside the window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. 
He's frowning. Smiling is so much worse. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're going to take your house. This is just depressing. It's not scary. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine. That works. A skeleton zombie. A smiling skeleton zombie outside the window. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. Give you your full name. That's how bored I am by you right now. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. Wait, can we go this way though? What's with the red glories? Oh. Oh, there must be fireflies then. Okay. Okay, so... I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Take all the time you need. I'll just be here trying not to be killed by ghosts in the meantime. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying. Ph philosophy? That's got stuff about death in it, right? When I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. Everyone's got their wheelhouse. Cool, uh, I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. What, back here? Uh. Oh, Rose. Oh, can we... Hmm. Standard headstone. Nothing fancy. Are we judging... Are we judging headstones now? What are we doing? Is this like a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, uh, like a sliding... Like a... Like a letters scale? Like A, B, C, D, E? Or... What are we doing? Because the star's pretty nifty. I think I'd give it about a 7. Clearly religious. 95 years. Wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. She had to, like, look out of the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. You don't need to leave your house to do anything anymore. Like any horse you could think of. Yeah, and horses that you might not want to think of, too. She saws from horses to internet horses. Decent run. Okay, I guess we can just look at any when we walk past them. 14! Catherine Fish. Oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. It's not enough time. That was my first thought. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. Well, not going to catch me arguing with that. Oh, hi. Are you pissed at me for being here? Can't be. It's a graveyard. It's public property. I'm allowed to be here. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mum's grave? It's a standard. Just a standard Tuesday evening. You? I'm the grave digger. Groundskeeper. What have you bloody everything around here. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot! Do you dig the graves with a shovel? Do you get spooked out here? All by your lonesome? There, that's a question we should be asking, right? We are meant to be on a ghost hunt. Nah. I work here. Tends to take the spook out of the place. Hmm. This job pay well? You think about digging graves? Don't know. Sounds like hard work, actually. Is there any side gigs where you don't have to dig graves? Like, maybe clean headstones or something? Scare ghosts away? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Oh, wow. Please don't bring any grave digging stories to the bloody dance floor with you. Please. Friggin' sweet. I will rock you. Hard. 
Sounds great, my man. Oh, that it? Oh, well, <laughs> see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Thank you. I appreciate that. Brad Boysen. A bike? Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He crashed his bike. Hit by a bike. Loved his bike. Could take be all three, really, couldn't it? He could have, like, crashed his bike after being hit by a bike, which he also loved. Could easily be all of those things. He loved his bike. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. And that's what killed him. So right. Jeez, B. How long does the mom visit take? Oh, God, don't judge. I assume May's got no graves to visit. Oh, grandpa, granddad died, though. TikTok, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap, I'm a jerk. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you realised it eventually. Any other graves to look at? I assume not. Maybe we have to go down the hill and bug Beatrice and then have another falling out with her. We seem to have our ups and downs. I'm keeping an eye on you, statue. Okay, cool. Didn't move. Good. Oh, she's here. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Oh, thank goodness. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. Only because I happened to have a conversation about it today, though. That's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mum's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh. That's... Uh... Spooky. Yeah. Not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah. Uh, sure. Let's do this. Is it those weird teens again? The, the weird ones that were sitting on the cliff behind the church? Wait. Oh. Whoa, this is super dark. Oh my word. Oh, it is them. I was right. Called it. Ho, oh, weary travellers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? <laughs> yeah, we've met. Shouldn't be surprised by now with the people I run into. What are you all doing? Okay, so we are the keepers of the gate. There's a little gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions. What is your quest? <laughs> what? Is your favourite colour? Okay, truthfully. We have to answer the questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. <laughs> this is very Monty Python. Get on with it. First question. Question the first. Have you ever done it?
Wait, I don't want to assume they're talking about that. Done it. Done. It. You heard me. How old are you teens? How do you know about this doing of it? Hmm? Hmm? Answer! I don't know if we have or not. I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to make assumptions on Ms. Mahaffey, but I guess I have to, don't I? I'm going to go ahead and say no. Never got around to it. And you? Yeah. What? When? Just learning this now from one of my best friends? Somewhere before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? This story gets better and better. Keep going. What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff. And camp stuff. And sex stuff, apparently. And apparently have lots of sex. <laughs> three times. Three times in two hours. This has happened to me. It wasn't good. Top-notch math, though. Oh, good to know that the math was good. Math? Like, math was real good. Real B-plus stuff. Sex? F. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date! Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. They just want us to titillate them. This is kind of pathetic. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? If we got time for both, then we got time for both. We got to see wrestling. I could wrestle. No, we got to see wrestling. Yeah, they'd buy us tickets. They? Guy or gal? I'm not picky. Yeah, go me. And we drive out to Hucklesburg, to the convention center, and we watch Unstoppable Hayseed versus The Impending Kronk. We need a wrestler called The Impending Kronk. Bloody Vince McMahon, get it sorted. And eat corn dogs. Oh, I could eat a corn dog right now. I don't watch wrestling. I do. It's great. Nobody cares. What do you want from me? Next question. Final question, I hope. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! Uh, one time I farted in front of the class. Who hasn't done that? Is that not as common a thing as I thought it was? <laughs> That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh, God. Um, oh, God, one time in junior high, one time in high school, one time in college. Ooh. What do we pick here? Junior high? I, oh, God. Tell. I just started getting my period and I bled on the chair in science class. I'm sorry. <laughs> that must be mortifying. Oh God. Oh God. And I got up at the end of class and ran. Oh no. And this kid came in and sat in the chair. Oh fuck. Oh God no. Oh no! Oh god! Oh, it was a nightmare! Oh jeez! Oh no! And later I walked by the nurse's office 
and the kid was sitting in there with blood on his butt and the nurse was calling his mom and 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 he looked at me as I went past and I think he knew <laughs> okay that was pretty messed up you have come face to face with your lowest moment you may pass unburdened unburdened yeah for real okay let's pass already the power to pass was in your hands all along what what the effing hell you may go god damn it go to hell teens ha 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 i hate everything right now forget it let's go bunch of jerks I kind of like them though because <laughs> there's something about them so the music and the voices was them so what's the deal with this place then just like super old graves or something so like ghosts ghosts like I don't know if I believe in them but yeah so you know how you said you'd been seeing ghosts at night I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like... Did you ever see my mom? Um... I don't know. I wasn't paying too much attention to the shadowy figures. There was definitely... There was definitely a, a bee animal there but I don't know if it was her mom or not I don't think so no I mean I can't really tell it's all a bit blurry and I don't think the ghosts were like people like they're not sitting around being ghosts doing all the normal ghost things that ghosts do it's more like echoes echoes of shit that happened and people that were here Oh, trust me, none of the places look like super much fun. Your mom was right as hell. Too right to hang there with all the boring, ghosty echo people. <laughs> That's like, I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. That's twice we've called her by her Sunday name. All right, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Uh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? People like me? Well, excuse me, what are you implying? And stop what you're probably gonna do. Hmm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, go do everything around here. All right, let me roll up the old sleeves. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine. Hang out. I'll be back. Where's she going to hang out? Just here? Oh, I'll probably just have to jump over it, don't I? I have to use these as jumping blocks. Okay, cool. I can do that. Shit. He said as he failed straight away. Oh, come on. Oh wait, I probably could I could probably do it from here, couldn't I? I'm a dum dum. Oh shit. Oh come on. Meh. Oh god. I'm failing at my platforming. Come on. I've got this. Oh bugger an L. Wait, if I do dirt dirt oh crap. Oh, come on! Oh, really? Oh. Huh. Hell yeah! Oh. Alright, cool. I guess I just have to... And that's how I get back over when I'm done. Gotcha. Oh, no. Suddenly I'm paranoid, though. I do this on my own. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scoring legs, I guess. 
How do I break that gate open? Um, probably something to do with the tree? Can I get up on this branch? Oh! Well, yeah, there we go. Heck yeah. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. Especially not the groundskeeper, she's not such a nice guy. He's probably going to clean up this shit after me. We're going to get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. Yeah, and yet you tell me off for doing it. You ask me to do something and then bloody have a go at me for doing it. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm going to go find little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm going to knock on it until he does. That sounds like a super, super, super safe plan. You're not allowed to destroy anything, man. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. We'll figure out when we get there. Like we always do. Do I look like a cat with a plan? Do I? Joe Shed? Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh. Gross. So what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around. For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May I am here for you right now. Sorry. You want a torn. From what I'm guessing by B, she always has a torn. Torn stored. Thank you. Just gonna wander around, I guess. Any ghost over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay, okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Oh. Cool. Um. This grave is for a horse, I think? Wait, an anthropomorphic horse or an actual horse? I don't think they ever breed horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Oh, there's more. Is there? Is there more? What are we missing? I thought I looked at everything. And also, isn't my time up for the night? Oh, it pretty much is. I can't believe it. Where did those two hours go? <sighs> what are we missing? I can't jump. Oh. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something! Like anything! After all that build-up? It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you're expecting to happen? This is stupid. I want to smash his shit up. Uh, we'll do. Hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Um, how are we going to smash it up? What do you mean, smash it up? Oh, God, no. Now I can run and jump again. <gasps> okay, that didn't sound right. Oh! Holy shit! Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that! About the sinkholes! We're lucky it wasn't deeper! Wait, is that...? Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin! With a rotting corpse in it! B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Nothing left to rot. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? We've got her. We've reeled her in. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here in your nice hall that I made for you. Okay. 
I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh. Is it, is this like a handle? Wait, what do we do? Oh. Ah, what were you expecting? Nothing? An empty coffin? So what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. No, 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 no. You're only a grave robber if you actually take something, okay? Those two. We have a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh God, I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Oh man, that's horrifying. Is it, I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine, geez. Oh, B lost a cigarette. Oh fuck. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? I guess I don't. Okay, fine. But he was there. Man, it was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. Yeah, I do actually feel kind of bad for him, if I'm being honest. How do you know the groundskeeper's a dude? Oh, shut up. I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know. Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Ugh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Nope. Not one little itty bit, I didn't. I'm going to, um, Skull Hall. Little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? And yeah, so Shadow Guy again. Or oh, at least we think we did. Hey, Grave Guy. Career idea. Grave Digger. Doesn't pay good, but heck. If you, if you dig it, you dig it.